Hey, good afternoon, friends. Today is Saturday, August the 24th or 24, 2024. And the time now is 12, 11 p.m. So I want to talk briefly about the previous situation in the United Kingdom, which the consequences of such event or event continues to haunt the people of the United Kingdom. And that is because the situation is still fresh in the UK. And I'm talking specifically of the previous riot conducted by members of the far right in the United Kingdom. Riots against immigrants and most especially Muslims or members of the Muslim community. Now, Many in the United Kingdom and in the world, basically when the whole thing was going on, the riot, they were calling it or terming it protest. However, it is certain by now that as a global community and even those people in the United Kingdom have termed the situation a riot because it didn't seem to be a protest. Now, I do want to apologize for many of you in the United Kingdom who are watching and even those around the world who might have want to put this behind them or who want to put this whole idea of a protest or a riot in the United Kingdom behind them. I understand such activity or reality can be traumatic to people and to a country. And I know so for immigrants in the United Kingdom for members of the UK society, whether we are talking about those on the left or those on the right, those pro-immigrant uh, supporters out there or group, or even anti-immigrant or anti-Muslim supporters or group. This event, I do believe, was traumatic and shocked to many. So I apologize for talking about this this late. It is not my intention. Now, there are so many things happening in the world. It is very difficult to keep track. And as a person and as a channel that is dedicated to not only explore topics in international relations and in the various countries around the world with an African perspective, it is challenging because as you are done with one event, something else happened around the world. So... In this case, you also have to prioritize. Sometimes you are still editing videos for uh, a topic that you have done and then something else happened. Also, I want to let you know that this is actually my first video or the first video playlist for the United Kingdom or for Britain. For those of you who are watching, I want you to know that on the channel, The Echoing Voice, there will be so many playlists. Each country around the world will have at least two playlists. One will be the country name and the other will be domestic the country name. For example, the playlist United Kingdom will focus specifically on the UK's global standing, the UK's relations with other countries and the UK's position or positions in international relations. Domestic UK or Domestic the UK playlist will focus specifically on the situation or situations in the UK, on the domestic affairs of the British or UK society. Whether we are talking about health, finance, economics, infrastructure, people to people relations, racism or quote unquote the protests, the anti-Muslim slash anti-immigrant protests that have occurred in the United Kingdom. Now, I want to apologize for talking so much, but I want to thank you for being a member of the Echoing Voice community. And also, I want to thank you for watching the Echoing Voice. Now, if you haven't done so, please subscribe and please share the link and share the videos with your friends and families. Now, for the situation in the United Kingdom, by now, it is certain that the protest started as a result of one young man who happened to be of Rwandan descent, African descent, who 
is actually a UK citizen born in the United Kingdom, went about stabbing three young uh, girls, little girls, and they died. The authorities withheld the identity of the, the kid because he's under 18. As a result, you start having uh, people all over the United Kingdom started spreading through social media ideas and false allegations that the perpetrator was a Muslim and an immigrant. It is very interesting that now many in the United Kingdom are beginning to call out people such as uh, Nigel Farage and others who had been propagating anti-immigrant news or allegations or information out there, which to them was the reason that the situation in the United Kingdom has culminated into the past or the previous riot anti-Muslim slash anti-immigrant right. But it is interesting that even figures such as uh, Elon Musk is being actually blamed for having been one of the, the culprit whose tweeting habits or things that he had said had contributed to the riot in the United Kingdom. Now, whatever the case may be, in terms of the riot itself, it is traumatic in that many Muslim, many immigrants, whether we are talking about blacks, Muslims, other foreigners in the United Kingdom who are not of the white European heritage, stayed home. And I remember watching the videos of the riots where all you saw was angry white men on the street just burning things, breaking things. As much as they want to say this was a protest. It was a riot. But it is very interesting that such image of people destroying things and setting things ablaze, chanting nonsense, attacking one another, are often the images that Western media had propagated or projected of people of the rest of the world or people who are not of the European heritage. Let's say in this case, most especially black people. When black people are riot, when the few uh, fools begin to act like they have no brains, that is what the media often sensationalize. But the riots in the United Kingdom is also an evident that the reality that the West and Western media has often projected of people of the global South or people who are minority is a reality that is human or humanistic. Even whites can do that do such things. When we talk about uh, another similarity, for example, the war in Ukraine. Prior to the war in Ukraine, people of European descent, white, many who are prominent uh, scholars have even predicted that World War III could start as a result of something that happened in the Middle East or as a result of something that happened in the East, in the East Asian uh, theater. What are we are talking about between and or among China, North Korea, Japan, uh, South Korea? But now the reality is we could see another world war as a result of what is happening in Europe. So what has been occurring is Western projection of their own shortcomings. And we are seeing this happening in the United Kingdom. Now, perhaps... The people of the United Kingdom, many have come out in pro support of immigrants and Muslims. Perhaps that is going to continue as a means to make the United Kingdom a positive, a better society than it is already is. And it is an amazing place, a diverse place. So now I want to ask two questions. One, by rioting, and also, by the manner in which they rioted, did the far right in the United Kingdom embarrass the United Kingdom, the UK? Two, did the members of the far right who rioted in the United Kingdom embarrass themselves and the far right as a group, as a political entity? And also, number three, can we then say that because of what happened in the United Kingdom, the far right is as of now 
at a political disadvantage. In that, the riot could make it easy for members, coalition of the left, to begin to come together in fear of the far right. Now, we saw something like that in France, where when it was certain, when it was believed that Marie Le Pen's far right could win the election, could basically wipe the floor with uh, Macron and the rest of the left. The left basically galvanized support and they basically were able to hold off the expanding, the increasing uh, momentum of Marie Le Pen's far right coalition. Now, to the question of whether the riot in the United Kingdom embarrassed uh, the UK. It did. It did embarrass the UK because the United Kingdom has for the past few years and decades propagated itself, celebrated itself as a diverse society. These riots in the United Kingdom made the United Kingdom look bad and it basically to an extent generate challenge or challenges to the notion of diversity equity or tolerance in UK society, which yes, we can also argue that it is unfair to challenge the UK in terms of such reality, such belief of diversity, equity and tolerance. But also the far right rights in the United Kingdom embarrass uh, the far right as a political group and also the individuals who rioted it especially those whose faces were shown in the public or to the public. So far, hundreds of people have been arrested since uh, the riot uh, began in the United Kingdom. And the UK uh, Prime Minister, Keir Sturmer, and the authorities are saying that they are going to deal accordingly with those perpetrators of the riot, those who participate or those who basically were the culprits, the ones who initiated the riot. And fairly so, those who did uh, the riot, who engaged in it, those who uh, initiated need to be held accountable. They must do so in terms of the variety, not just in terms of those who are of the regular stack. That means that the politicians who basically initiated the riot whose statements and informations and comments have culminated into what become the riot, they must all be held accountable and other members of society. Now, the riot, as much as it happened this month and this year, 2024, I do believe that we can trace the emergence of the riots to even the BRICS era. It is all about Immigrants, pushing immigrants out. Immigrants are the ones who are causing the problem, the economic problems for UK citizens and all that nonsense. Two, the whole idea of hatred against Muslims. Now, the hatred of Muslims can also be dated, okay? As much as it can go back to the era of decolonization and much further than that. We can trace, I do believe, the current hatred of Muslims in the United Kingdom and in other parts of the West. Two, 9-11. When 9-11 happened, we saw in the United States and around the world an intense rise of members of the far right, okay, the far right's coalition, and also the increase, the expansion of hatred against Muslims. And we saw that with the riot in the United Kingdom, where as much as members of the far right were saying that the stabbing, the killing of the three children was done by an immigrant, by a minority person. They specifically zeroed in on Muslim or Muslims. So this, yes, it was an anti-immigrant uh, riot and members even stated the whole idea that the immigrants came off the boat or whatsoever. But it was specific or specifically an anti-Muslim riot. In this case, perhaps we can say that what we are seeing in the world or coming out of the West is an ongoing crusade between two religious sects. 
Christianity against Islam. As much as it is also an ongoing conflict, a war of European uh, descent, members of the European stock, Europeans against the minority groups of the world that are known as the Global South. Perhaps I may be wrong. Perhaps I may be right. However, I hope to hear what you think. And please tell me what you think. Join the conversation. Now, in terms of the United Kingdom, it is a society that perseveres. It is a society that has been through a lot. And there are members of UK society that can actually trace racial tension to the decolonization era, to the time when immigrant groups were traveling to the UK. It can even date the anti-this or anti-that groups to the days of industrialization when the rich basically looked down on the, the poor, the powerful looked down on the powerless. But in terms of the situation in the United Kingdom, which has happened in the United Kingdom, the riot, I do believe that the rioters and the riot itself embarrassed the United Kingdom. And I also do believe that it embarrassed the far right. Perhaps these riots could have handed political benefit to the left. Please tell me what you think. But my friends, I want to thank you a lot for being a member of the Echo Voice community. And I want to thank you also a lot for watching the Echo Voice. Peace.